Soma Care, Terrors, is a literal sewing legend. And I tried to recreate a bathing suit she made and it actually turned out pretty okay. So let's get it popping. So to begin, you're going to put socks on, obviously. And then you're going to get some swimsuit bottoms that fit you the way you want them to fit you. And you're going to copy the, what they look like. And then you're going to copy the back. And then you're just going to cut that girly in half. And then that's your swimsuit bottoms. Next, you're going to get a bra that fits you. And then you're just going to copy that as well. You're going to add f about three inches to the front in a triangle fashion so that you can have a tie for your bow tie. Nice, my phone went. Next, you're going to cut out your pieces. So on the fold of your fabric, you're going to place your swimsuit bottom piece. And then you're also going to add five inches on either side because you want them to be high waisted. And then you're just going to cut out one piece. Next, you're going to cut out four pieces for your top part of your bathing suit. And also don't add seam allowance because this fabric stretches so much you don't need it. Also, I should add that these pieces turned out to be way too hecking big and they were probably a size large and I need an extra small so I had to trim off about 2 inches from the top and then probably around 4 inches from the sides of the swimsuit bottoms. So, viewer discretion advised. Because you're making a swimsuit, you always want to finish off the edges with elastic. I don't know why, but Makara said to, so obviously I'm going to do that. So here I am cutting out the pieces for the leg holes, and then I'm also going to cut out a piece of thicker elastic for the waistband. So now I'm sewing the elastic to the leg holes, and I look really distinguished when I sew. So here's like 30 more seconds of this. Here's what it looks like with the elastic, and I don't know why I didn't get the hint that this was going to be way too big for me, but I kept on going. Seconds after sewing everything together, I realized it was way too big, so what I had to do was sew the sides closed, which sucks because there was already elastic as the waistband, so I had to sew across the elastic. And I had to take in about 3 inches on each, not 3 inches, probably like an inch and a half on each side. Now I'm actually going to cut off the extra fabric that I don't need to make this swimsuit a bit smaller. So I probably cut off in total half an inch to an inch uh, for the top pieces. And this really did help because then I didn't have to go back and readjust the measurements. Also in the video, they used elastic to finish off the top pieces, but because I have negative two boob, I didn't do that and it worked out pretty fine. But like if you do, then... For sure, put elastic around the bottom and then around the armholes. After trimming everything down so that it would actually fit my body, I sewed two of the front pieces together and then I sewed the other two of the front pieces together. And you sew them right sides together so once you flip them over, everything looks normal. And then you're going to sew the back pieces together as well. So now you have that long two thing and then you have two triangle things with like fingers hanging off of them. Next, you're going to add in the padding. I just stole it from an old bathing suit I had, and then I just shoved that in there. Uh, and then you're just going to sew the back piece to the two um, boob parts, and then that's literally it. You're done. Also, the video had, like, two straps where the top part is at, but I was way too lazy to do that, so I just turned it into a halter top. And I think it looks fine, but, like, yeah, I'm done now. So project 543 that I can't believe turned out to work, but it actually worked and I'm really proud of myself. Okay, thank you, bye.